All right, good morning, guys. Let's get started with science today. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and record the lecture here. So, um, but first off, I wanna show you what we are doing this week for life science. So once you're in Google, Google Classroom, um, so here's the life science page. So week one, that was last week. Now we are on to week number two. So Monday, September 14th, um, you have no classwork or homework for Monday. This is essentially a um, snow day. So no school, no classwork for Monday. Um, for today, Tuesday the 15th, um, we are going to go through the end of the, um, the rest of the PowerPoint. So lesson 1.1.4. Um, go ahead on your own, read page 18 to 21. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and pause this video and read page um, 18 to 21. Read page 18 to 21. Once you're done with that, you can start watching the video again. So as you can see, the homework will be page 18, numbers one through three. Page 18, numbers one through three. So pretty quick and easy. Once you're done with that, you can turn it in at the front office. You can um, scan it and email it to me. I've had some people do that with other homework already. So you can do that. Um, and then tomorrow, um, so Wednesday, September 16th, you guys are gonna have your first quiz over the first four lessons that we've done. And it is open book and open note. Open book and open note. So I'm okay with you seeing it now. Here's what it looks like. So you'll click on it, you can print it out, and then again, scan it, email it back to me. Okay, so there's 20 questions, 20 some questions on here, 23 questions. They're mostly all multiple choice. The ones with the lines, you can write a short answer. Um, so there's 23 total questions, okay? I don't know if I can exit out, there we go. So Wednesday, September 16th, all you're doing that day is a quiz, okay? So again, you can bring that in, um, turn that in on when we come back, or you can turn it in um, via email or to the front office. We're gonna have some file folders there for you guys to turn that into. So there's that. Then we have Thursday, September 17th, where we are going to start um, a new PowerPoint. We're gonna start a new lesson so lesson 1.2.1, okay? And then Friday we will do lesson 1.2.2. So that'll, that's the plan for this week, all right? So let's go ahead and get started and finish up the PowerPoint for this first section. And then once you're done with that, you can get going on the quiz. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Getting into the PowerPoint here. Where are we at? 1.1.4. Here we go. All right, lesson 1.1.4. The chemistry of living things. So if you haven't already, please get out your notes. Once you guys come back from school, I'm um, from your at home school, I'm going to be checking your notes to make sure you did take them. Um, so go ahead, get out your notes, and you can pause at any time. I'm going to go a little quick. I'm not going to stay on each slide for a long time, so just pause whenever we get to each slide. So the chemistry of living things. So this is page 18 to 21, as I've said. <clears throat> okay, introduction. So what do carbohydrates and lipids have in common? So as you can see right here, there's my laser pointer. Oh, here we go, laser pointer. So what do carbohydrates and lipids have in common? So as you can see right here, our carbohydrates, it's a little bit more of a complex molecule. There's a lot going on in this structure, right? And um, a carbohydrate, most of us know, is something like bread. And then a lipid is this, this guy right here. It's also another complex looking molecule. And that makes things like oil, okay? So what do they have in common? They are both organic compounds. 
they both provide and store energy. So when you're taking your T-chart notes, write introduction on the left side, write the question, and write this answer on the right side of your, of your T-chart notes. So go ahead and pause because I'm about to go to the next slide. Okay, still under introduction. How are sugar and starches alike? How are they different? So let's look at these molecules right here. These starch molecules, they are, um, they are in a chain. They are in a chain. So if you remember back on our last slide, um, these carbohydrates, it is a starch. So this is a chain of oxygen, um, CH2OH. Um, so it's just a bunch of chains of a, what we're gonna show you right here, it's a glucose molecule. So a glucose molecule is just one section of that chain. It's just one tiny part. Starch molecule, it's a big long chain. Okay, so how are sugar and starches alike? Oh, so glucose, that's another word for sugar. Are they different? So both are carbohydrates. So both of them are carbohydrates, but starches contain many sugar molecules that are connected together. So all these sugar molecules, this is one glucose or one sugar molecule. This is one sugar or one glucose molecule. Right here, this is them all connected together and that's when you have a starch, okay? Go ahead and pause. I'm about to move on to the next video or the next slide. So what are organisms made of? I'll move my face here. What are organisms made of? So this is the next part of your notes. <coughs> what are they made of? So organisms, they are made of molecules and compounds. So what is a molecule? Here's a, an image of what a molecule is. So this is an example of oxygen atoms. So right here, this is one oxygen atom and this is a second oxygen atom. Take two of those, put them together, you have O2, okay? Now over here, we have a compound. So this right here is your hydrogen. This big red one is your hydrogen. And then these two, or sorry, this is your oxygen your oxygen, and then these two white atoms are your hydrogen atoms. So that makes, since there's two of them, two H's, one O, that is H2O. So we have two different water compounds right here. So organisms are made of molecules and compounds. A molecule, what is it? It is a particle consisting of two or more atoms chemically tied together. And a molecule is the smallest part of a compound. So pause, pause here. Okay, continuing, continuing on with what are organisms made of. So now we have a compound. A compound is a pure substance consisting of two or more elements, an example water, as I showed you over there in this image. Go ahead and pause. Okay, now we have organic compounds, organic compounds. So in your book on page 18, go ahead and write down the definitions for those three, um, those three terms, a lipid, a nucleic acid, and an organic compound. I formatted this one a little bit different and you'll be able to tell why when I go on to the next slide. So pause here, write down the definitions for lipid, nucleic acid, and organic compound and you will find that on page 18 in your textbook. Okay, so we have four different types of organic compounds. We have what's called a carbohydrate, which we went into a little bit already, and those are used for energy. We have a lipid, which make up the cell membrane. We have proteins, which build and repair cells for energy. 
and then we have nucleic acids, which contain genetic information. And I'm gonna have a slide for each one of these different types. So first we'll go over carbohydrates in a slide, then I'll go over lipids, then proteins, then nucleic acids. So pause here to write down the four different types. Whoops. Okay, first off, carbohydrates. So carbohydrates, they store energy. And there are two different types of carbohydrates. We have simple and we have complex carbohydrates. A simple carbohydrate is one or two sugar molecules. So an example of that would be salt, um, sugar, fruit. And remember for sugar, it's the example of that would be table sugar and with salt, table salt. It's very simple and it does not involve a lot. And for the fruit, it is also just the sugar from the fruit. It's not the entire apple. It's just the sugar molecules from the fruit. <clears throat> so a complex, complex carbohydrate, those are many sugar molecules linked together together. So that was the picture I showed you of a bunch of those um, carbohydrate molecules connected together. So many sugar molecules linked together. Examples of that, pasta, bread, rice, potatoes. Okay, move on to the next one. Now we have lipids, lipids. So most fats are solid at room temperature. Example of that would be fats, oils, waxes, and certain vitamins. So some of those vitamins would be vitamin A, B, C, um, and E. Not D because you get vitamin D from the sun. That's obviously not solid. So too much lipids can cause you to become overweight. <laughs> so if we eat too many, too much butter, too, much, um, too many oils in our foods, you can't, it can cause you to become overweight because um, we store them in a different way than we store some other things. So if you eat a lot of potato chips, those have a lot of oils in them and a lot of other bad stuff, that's gonna cause some fat to accumulate on your body. <laughs> All right, so that's lipids. Proteins, so proteins help and repair cells and tissues. So proteins are really cool. They carry important materials through your body. So an example of that would be hemoglobin. Um, so hemoglobin is inside your red blood cells. And so hemoglobin, hemoglobin, they carry oxygen through your blood. Very important. Foods that are high in protein some of those foods are fish, most meats, okay, pretty much all meats, so beef, chicken, pork, lamb, pretty much any meat you can think of. It's gonna be high in protein. And then you have eggs, eggs are high in protein. Beans, you have peas, and then you have nuts, okay. Go ahead and pause. So here are some examples of what proteins actually look like. So there's a bunch of different types of proteins, a bunch, as you can see, a bunch of different um, shapes. You aren't gonna be tested on all of these different um, forms, but I wanted to show you once you get up to, um, like in college, you'll take a class called if you do this hive science, organic chemistry, a lot of fun. And it's also a very hard class. You'll be doing stuff like this. So it's kind of a look into your future <laughs> for science. Okay, nucleic acids. Nucleic acids, um, we have two different types. We have DNA and we have RNA. So DNA, so deoxy, um, deoxyribonucleic acid is what that stands for. And then you have RNA, which is ribonucleic acid. So as you can see here with our DNA, that is info needed to build protein. And this is where all of your genetic 
information is carried. So you're not gonna be take, tested on naming everything in this DNA um, molecule, but I wanted to show you, I know most of you have probably seen what DNA looks like. And then we have RNA, which reads the genetic info within DNA. So this right here, it attaches over to here and it takes what it reads from the DNA. Okay, so that's nucleic acids. Okay, so I've tried showing a video on one of these PowerPoints before. So right now within your um, PowerPoint, I would like you to watch this video. So go ahead and press play on that video now. And then I was told I have not put in any memes in a while. So here's my first meme of the year, January, 2020. So this is gonna be a great year. And then September, 2020 hits. <laughs> Thank you Oasis for this great picture. <laughs> all right guys, so that is all for science for Tuesday. So go ahead and you can start on your homework, which is um, page 18, numbers one through three, page 18, numbers one through three. Okay, so get started on those. And once you're done with that, tomorrow you will have a quiz. So I won't have a video made for tomorrow, but you will be printing out this quiz, quiz number one on lesson 1.1.1 all the way to lesson 1.1.4. And you can use your book and you can use your notes for this. Okay. All right, guys. Have, I will be seeing you soon. Peace out. <laughs>